degrees. It has been a tradition for many families watching the holiday classic It's a Wonderful Life this time of year. One of my favorites. There is a special showing of the film tonight at the Dryden Theater with two very special guests. Ashley is with them now. Zuzu and Tommy Bailey, the actors who played them all those years ago, two of the Bailey kids, are with us this morning. Good morning, Ashley. Hey, good morning, Doug. Yes, we uh, are here in the Dryden Theater, and this is where you guys will be later tonight, right? That's right. We're going to have a question and answer before at 6 o'clock yeah. and move into the theater. And we're going to show that special film to everybody yeah. that we brought from the Academy. And then they'll see the movie on the big screen. That's the way it was meant to be seen. Yeah, this I is great <laughs> for the uh, Eastman people to do this. Have you ever been here to the Dryden Theater before? No, never. This is the first time. This theater is amazing. It's really cool. I, I, I've seen plenty of films here. It's amazing. To be here and to do this, you guys are down here for the uh, It's a Wonderful Life Festival in Seneca Falls. What is this like to be back here around this time of year? Well, this is where Christmas is, don't you think? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. And I think we're supposed to have a few snowflakes, which would add to the atmosphere, which yes. would be great. Yeah. And I think that would be super. But we're really going to enjoy having um, two new, uh, well, one new cast mm -hmm. member join us. So there are going to be actually four cast members at the Seneca Falls Festival. And uh, that's all there is. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> that's something, you know. Yeah. yeah, we're the last man standing, actually. <laughs> But so. to, to be able to, 71 years later, still show your film, talk about your film, and, and to be interacting with people who love it so much, what's that like? Well, we feel that uh, we believe in the message of the movie and that we're just an extension of Frank Capra. He can't be here anymore, so we believe in him and uh, all the great works he did to make this movie such a wonderful movie, so we want to carry his message on. That's we're really here for him, not us. Yeah, and what's that like to be able to do that? Well, it's a great um, honor to be a part of this film and to share in the people's love for the film and to see how it has affected their lives. And their lives are different and made much better because they realize they do matter. Yeah. Everyone matters. Yeah, and, and Frank Capper, you know, he, he picked everybody for this movie. And it's, it's great because when, when he picked uh, Carolyn, mm -hmm. she just uh, was that character and and she's carried that through and she spent so much time with each and each uh, person that comes up to her fan and talks about the film <laughs> she she uh, does drawings on her autographs Aww. and she just is a great spokesperson he couldn't have found anybody better uh, outside of me that oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Doug, huh? Is that Doug? <laughs> That's Doug yeah, still okay. on the desk. Yes, right. we were talking about Doug. Right. <laughs> and and Doug and I were talking a little bit, too. Uh, and I asked you guys this. Do you remember being a part of this film? And you guys told me right away, oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. We have our stories, personal stories. My biggest thing was getting there every day, you know, and the streetcars and the buses we had to take to go out to Culver City. Then we walked onto this stage, and, oh, it was, there's the Bailey house, and there was real snow outside, mm -hmm. and then you walk on the set, and, oh, there's the Christmas tree. It was great. It was just a wonderful experience. Yeah. Do you have those same kind of memories, Carolyn? Oh, exactly. And, you know, I was an only child, so there was a Christmas tree about this tall on a table for me. That was it. So huh. here's this massive Christmas tree for the family, and, and I was so excited to see this. It was a lot of fun to run around. I think I chased you around a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> little Tommy. <laughs> yeah. We were close to the same age. Yeah. Uh, so. And to, to, all, to all these years later, first off, we need to call out my fiance has never seen the movie. So what would you, you can yell at him right now. He's watching. Dump oh no! He, dump, you, him. Just, dump him. Dump uh, him. Wedding's <laughs> off, right? Dump him. <laughs> but what would you say if somebody else crazy out there is like him that has never seen this film? Well, that's funny because uh, uh, we went out for the Target stores about 20 years ago to celebrate "It's a Wonderful Life" at Target, mm -hmm. and uh, all four Bailey kids were together. And Larry Sims, who played the older brother, mm -hmm. had never seen the movie. Oh, jeez. It's, it's very <laughs> oh, odd. Oh, you're the one. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like that. But uh, you say your boyfriend, is he going to come tonight to see it on the big screen? It's sold or? out tonight, and we didn't we get tickets. Get him a DVD but, or what? Oh, no, we're coming Sunday to see, because oh, okay. it's also Sunday right. here that well, folks can come see. You guys won't it. be he'll... here, though, but it'll, the film will be. Yes, okay. <laughs> well, we live forever on that film. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, if he's willing to come, then there's a chance for him. There's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chance. But I was telling them, you know, Jimmy Stewart is 
yeah. from, you know, Western PA. Right. Lots of great folks come from right. there, Doug. You know Indiana, that. Pennsylvania. Indiana, That's Pennsylvania. Right. Indiana, yep. Pennsylvania. I've you seen know, a statue. Actually, the, the other thing I was going <laughs> to yeah. mention right. to them, yeah. first of all, so. first of all, Carolyn still sounds like Zuzu. The only part of that movie she that's says ever... says you still sound like Zuzu. Well, remember... Daddy, teacher says every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Oh, that's is that awesome. what you wanted to hear, Doug? That is perfect. She does have, I mean, she really, her voice, you know, for all those years. Uh, thank you, Ashley. I, the, the only thing I was going to mention, and it's just this this thing, the only thing that bothers Doug me about the movie. Goodbye. Doug's saying goodbye. Okay. Yeah. yeah, is is when, yeah, See they can't someday, hear me. Doug. See you Bye, Tommy. <laughs> So the only, I'll try to get this out. It, it was the part where they go out to the housing development and I'm sitting here thinking Seneca Falls, Western New York, Central New York, all this stuff. And then they go out to this housing development is so clearly in California. That's the only thing that ever bugged me about that movie. It was like, obviously they did that in, in you know, in California. That's it. That's all. That was it. Tell them to fix that. All right. All bye, Doug. Later. Yeah, okay. I will. I'll tell him. We'll get in touch with uh, Mr. Capra and see what he can do. Some lake effects, no showers. Could happen.